To connect your Tapo C200 camera with the Android smartphone, first you will need to download an app called Tapo from a, a Google Play Store. I have this app here already. So when you downloaded this app, open it. You will also need to make sure that you have account or uh, I, in other words, also uh, create it. So when we have our account and everything is ready, we can click on this plus button and add our device. Now make sure that your camera is connected to the power source. There's a power cable included in the package. And uh, now pay attention to the LED lamp of your camera after it boots. It will take around two minutes to boot. And if there's a LED lamp uh, flashing red and green like I have right here, that means it's ready for the setup. If it doesn't, then you will need to flip that gimbal and uh, look for the reset button, which is located right here. Click and hold it for around 10 seconds and then wait again around two minutes until your camera boots and uh, then there should be a lamp flashing just like that. Now in the setup uh, for uh, the app, we can move to my smartphone, look for a C200 in the server and select it. Then there's this confirmation that I've mentioned, we can move to the next step. It will ask you to connect your camera uh, Wi-Fi with your phone Wi-Fi. And uh, if you don't have this pop-up, you will need to move to the internet settings of your phone and uh, look for the Wi-Fi uh, called Tapo with uh, some other lines. And now we can click on connect. So there's this error, let's just leave it and uh, try again as I was speaking during that and that's why I got this error, as you need to be a, a fairly quick to actually do it. Next step is to pick a actual Wi-Fi network that will stay connected to your camera. I'm gonna go with this one and then enter a password but off screen. Okay, and when you hit the next with the proper password, uh, you will need to wait till your camera is actually synced with the Wi-Fi network. So let's just wait through that process. Wi-Fi connected. So now the Wi-Fi is uh, connected. Uh, we again need to wait. Okay, I, I think that this takes, okay, now it actually connected. But in case it takes too long, for example, if you waited around five minutes till it's connected, you can just click on the X button and then it should be already on your account. But uh, let's move on as it uh, everything is actually working fine. So the next step is to name your device. You can choose whichever name you like. I'm gonna stick with the default one. We can pick a location where our camera will be placed. In this case, I'm gonna go with the kitchen then we can choose a icon to easily identify our camera. I'm going to go with this plant image. Next uh, is uh, the completion, basically. But uh, you can uh, click on mount to the wall to learn and to see instructions on how to uh, plug your camera to the wall. So for me, I'm just uh, going to place it like that. So it sounds good for me. Uh, we can skip the subscription or if you want, you can start a plan. Then uh, set up local storage, insert SD card. It can be done easily on the bottom of your camera right here. And now we got it. And then there's a firmware update automatic uh, download or automatic updates. 
and you can see the time when it will happen right here. So when we got everything, our camera will be connected and we can see it on the dash panel right there.